Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a deep clean of your car. What we're going to do is remove all contaminants from the paintwork, strip it right down to its clear coat, and restore that shine and give a long lasting protection. If you want a video showing how to do a quick clean of the car, check out the other one on our channel. Using the techniques in that video means that this type of restoration should need to be done for another few years. Alright, so that's our quick look of the car we're going to use. It's a 2007 Alfa Male 159. The car's in physical condition throughout, there's no big dents, no deep scratches. But the car first of its life has been hit by a pressure washer and the odd car wash. So if you look closely on the paintwork here, you're going to see the odd swirl marks. So the odd swirl marks of the paint and just a really, there's not much of a shine to it at the moment. So what we're going to do is going to strip this layer of wax and dirt back, remove all contaminants from the paintwork and get it looking like brand new. Right, in order to restore the car's paintwork, we need to understand what we're trying to achieve. Now, the main thing we're trying to get rid of is these, is these swirl marks, and these are caused by fine bits of grain and dirt being dragged across the car's paint when it's being washed. So if we wash the car in a proper manner, we shouldn't actually end up with any more swirl marks, but we're going to try and erase these as well whilst we're going over the car. So what we need to do is we need to strip the car back, remove all the contaminants, remove all the wax, and build it back up, polish it, and seal it again when we're finished. Uh, the equipment we need isn't anything too uh, specific. The most specific thing we have is a pressure washer. It's still widely available for any motor factors. I go on off the off Amazon for £45. Something like this do the job perfectly. Now you can use a hose pipe, but I really recommend something like a pressure washer to get the best results. Alright, so we've got six steps to fully clean the car. We're going to start off a contactless wash, then go to a full contact wash, go into clay bar, then dry, polish and then wax. Don't worry if you've done all these mean, we're going to go into these in much more detail in the following steps. The first step we need to start off with is a contactless wash. And the idea of this is to remove as much contaminants from the paintwork about actually touching it. What will happen is, if we hit one of these veins of dirt at the wrong angle with too much pressure, it can scratch the paintwork. So we try to take this off without actually touching it, reducing the risk of scratching. Remember, the number one rule is to not add any scratches to the paintwork. That's what causes the damage and that's what we're trying to avoid. So in this wash, well, I'm going to start off by just doing the wheels, but we're not really going to focus on the wheels or the windscreen. We're just going to really be focusing on the paint, and I'm only doing the wheels at this stage just to give the car a complete look. Now when using a pressure washer, you still have to be careful because a lot of pressure comes at the end of them. So ideally, we don't want to have only full power, we want to be able to still stick our hands at the end of the nozzle without a hurting, and try and keep at least a foot away from the car. Doing this, you better ensure that the paint work doesn't get any damage. Start from the top to the bottom, work on the way down, and work with gravity rather than against it, to remove as much contaminants as you can. Alright, now I've done the pressure washer, the next thing I'm going to do is get our foam lance and attach this to the pressure washer instead. Now we're not going to use snow foam on this, we're actually going to use washing up liquids. And I know what you're thinking, why the hell am I using washed up liquids? The first thing any car detailer is going to tell you is washed up liquid is the biggest no-no of them all. It cuts through wax, it ruins any protections on top of the paint. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to strip the old wax off the paintwork and get down to nothing. And car shampoos have a layer of wax in them as well. And that adds to the protection, which in a normal wash is absolutely fine. And what we need here is to strip this back and wash the liquid is absolutely perfect. So attach this to the pressure washer, foam it up, and let's soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. The idea of the foam is to cover in a blanket as thick as possible. And what that's going to do is going to eat through all the dirt and all the grime, hopefully try and lift it up off the surface, and let it run down off the car. As you can see in this time lapse, we can see the foam just running down onto the floor away from the car, and that's really good, and it means it's one less thing that we have to deal with that may damage the paintwork later on. When it's finished, just grab a pressure washer, just take all the foam off, try and take any more debris that's there, and then we go into our next stage, and that's the contact wash. Now that the snow foam's done, the next thing we're going to do is a normal wash. Uh, but what you need to do is use two buckets, once to wash and once to rinse. And a good idea is to clean this bucket out before I use, because look at all that grit and dirt that's in there. We really don't want to drag any of that across the car's paintwork. And the reason we use a wash and a rinse bucket is that we're going to have nice clean water in here, and we're going to stick our wash mitt in and drag it across the surface of the car, and it's going to get dirty. And we don't want to dunk that back into the clean water, instead we want to wash it off in some normal water, and then take it from there and dunk it back in and leave this bucket nice and clean, so nice clean water has been applied to the car every single time. So if mentioning that I recommend using something like a microfiber wash mitt. The deep fibers allow dirt to be pulled up from the surface and into the fiber here, taken away from the paintwork 
and reducing the scratch, risk of scratches. I really don't recommend using a brush at all, or a sponge, or even a, an old rag or t-shirt. All of them will damage your paintwork. Microfiber wash mitts are the way to go. And we're not going to use car shampoo in this one again. We're going to use more washing up liquid for the same reason as before. So let's start off by giving the buckets a quick rinse out. Give it a good swirl. Don't really get anything that's on there. And chuck it away. So, let's take our washing up liquid in one bowl. And we can't have too much of this, let's keep it nice and wet and lubricated. And we just fill the second bowl up with just clean water. I start off just by giving a quick blast of the foam just to uh, keep it lubed up and wet, which is always a good thing. Then just remember to use the wash and the rinse bucket properly. And then, the well, final thing is, just go in straight lines up in circles, since if a straight line creates a scratch, it's much less visible and much easier to get out. Then just give it a quick blast off of the pressure washer, and we're on to the next step. Right, the next stage after washing the cars to use a clay bar. I've never used one of these. What they are, is literally a block of clay. You get them in a pack, you knead them until they get nice and soft, stick out over that and you rub over the car's paint to work together with the contaminants. Now most clay bars come with a detailing spray and we're not going to use this, instead we're going to use the normal soapy water uh, on the paint work because we don't want to add still any protection to the paint work just yet. We're going to use a clay bar to strip it back. And all this simple, really simple way you do is get nice and warm, nice and flat and just spray a section of the paint work like this. Get nice and lubed up, can't add too much soap and water on here and just using a medium to light pressure just move it back and forth like this. And what you'll eventually notice is this, the clay bar starts getting all the contaminants off the paintwork. And this is stuff that's not come on for the wash. I imagine all this brown gunk over the car, of how much is actually going to dull the paintwork in the end. And you know when it doesn't need doing is when the surface feels like smooth like glass. And that's the idea of the clay bar is to restore that glass like finish to the car. So, just do this all over, wherever it's deemed necessary. If the paint's already smooth, you don't need to do it. But already you can feel how smooth this paintwork is now, and it feels just like glass. Now, when the clay bar gets too dirty and it's covered in brown, just start kneading the back, bury the dirt, squeeze it back out again, and you're good to go. And just carry on wiping and clay barring until the car's lovely and smooth. The clay bar process is going to make one of the biggest differences to the car paint work and really is crucial in giving it a good finish. Lots of people don't even use a clay bar or know about them but it's one of the things I really believe in for giving a truly perfect finish to the car. Think about it, if you're just going to polish this stage, all you're going to be doing is working in those contaminants further into the paint and you're going to be working twice as hard to try and get them out. Now with the clay bar just like the normal wash, we need to make sure we go in a straight movement, again to reduce any risk of scratching and again if we do scratch it, it makes it much easier for us to get out. When the clay bar is done, just grab the pressure washer because what you've done, you've unearthed some of the dirt and the grit and we want to make sure none of that's there so just give the car one more blast off with nice clean water to ensure that all grit and dirt has been removed. So the car's all clay barred now and the next thing you have to do is dry the car. Now we can't just leave the car to dry naturally because what will happen is it'll evaporate and it'll leave all watermarks on the car and that's bad, it's not going to get a good finish. Instead we want to dry the car properly in a controlled manner and for that we use a microfiber drying cloth. Don't use your chamois, although they are good for absorbing water, dirt can still get trapped and you know what, the car is clean but there still could be dirt on there. So use something like this, get actual fibres to go into it. We'll pick up dirt, take away from the paintwork and leave you with a beautiful dry finish. All you have to do to get this off is 
again, try and use as little pressure as possible. And as you use the weight of the cloth, is stick it on the boot, whatever the hell you're doing. And I like to just grab two ends and just pull it with its own weight, using as little pressure as possible, which reduces the chance of causing scratches. What we can do later on is go over the cloth again and buff it to a nice shine. But just take most of the majority of the water off just under cloth's own weight. Right, at this stage in the wash, we should actually start seeing tangible results. And we should start seeing that shininess and original condition of the paint come right through. So do took all our road grime off. And really, this is where it starts getting exciting because it's only going to get better and better from this point. Already the car should look like a million dollars. Let's go make it look like a billion. Let's put our polish and our wax on and make that paint work really shine and gleam. So it's fit for a show. All right, so we look at the shine already. We haven't even applied any polish or wax to the car. This has been a clay bar on a dry, and already the paint works come back magnificently. Just look at that reflection we got. So our next stage now is going to actually polish the car. Uh, we need to try and get these the residue of the old wax off the roof still, since it baked on. So for that, we're going to use a uh, ideally a polishing mist would be best, something like the likes of these. However, it's just been a downpour of rain here, so this is soaked through, and that's going to have to go through a proper wash to get all the dirt out of it. So instead, let's get a nice clean microfiber cloth that's fine to use. Make sure there are no tags left on it. These can scratch the paintwork. And the polish I'm using is an also glim ultra deep shine designed for dark cars. So just give it a good shake up. So after giving it a good shake, just grab some on your cloth and don't do what I've just done and <laughs> spill it all over the car. That's really not what you should be doing. Oops. Well, the next thing I was going to say, don't go on the plastics or the wiper blades or anything like that, but well, that's gone out the window, but apply some to your cloth. You don't need a big amount, something like that. And just start rubbing into the paintwork. So in this case, we're going to use circular motions, unlike when we're washing the car, because the circular motion with a polish will actually try and get scratches out, as opposed to when you're washing, circular motions will ingrain scratches worse. So just grab onto here and use a medium to light pressure. We don't want to force it in too much. And work at one area on one body panel at a time. At this stage in the process, the car should begin to its very, very cleanest form, ready to put the final protection of wax on. Just to keep in mind not to use too much polish, don't try and get into the cracks between the panels, don't get on the rubbers, and if you do, just try and get them off immediately before it's set on. It'll be easy to go off while it's wet. By the time you've finished putting the polish on one panel, you can start that panel again and start buffing them off. That should be enough time. At this stage, the car should be looking really, really good. Now onto the final step of waxing. The polishing is done. The car looks absolutely fantastic. You can see it facing it perfectly. It's a perfect reflection. There's only one thing left to do now on the car, and that's give it just a final coat of wax. That's going to seal it, protect it, and stop any of the elements of it in the finish that we created today. Right, now we've done all the polishing, the last thing to do is put this wax on. And the one we're using is also Glim High Definition Wax. Our waxes come in a few different types. We've got liquid waxes, spray waxes, and this type, hard paste wax. Now, I've never used this wax, and it's a fairly good wax, I've heard, so I'm dying to see the results. This wax is going to add a final definition of shine to the car, make it even dark, even glossier, and I think the results are going to be absolutely fantastic. The important thing with this is read the instructions on the back always. For example, this one here. You want to use a damp uh, applicator pad and you want to apply sparingly to the paintwork, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, make sure the car is cool and dry to the touch, and then buff off with a normal towel, and that's it. The wax is crucial in maintaining this finish we've created today. It's going to protect the paintwork against bare droppings, dirt, rain. It's going to make it super easy to clean, and this should last for up to about six months. But to be honest, you can't do this too much even. Do it every three months and you can ensure that this type of restoration doesn't need to be done again. 10 15 minutes, the car should look like a dull shine on top. And that's exactly what we want the car to look like and this means it's ready to buff off. So just go and get polish your cloth, 
and just rub it in circular motions like this over the car. And that paintwork will come right up. Let's get another spot here, just rub it right off. And there we are, good as new. Alright guys, here it is. The finished products and the car looks absolutely amazing. Just look at those reflections in it. Lights fading, but it's definitely been worth it. Six hours we took on this car, but the paintwork looks almost like brand new. And if it's maintained with good cleaning techniques, this shine should last for years to come. But I am really, really pleased with the results. Even if someone behind me is being killed. Just look at that. So anyway, anyway guys, there we have it. If you like this video, please leave a comment in the section below or give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Any support you can give at the moment is very, very helpful to us. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and we'll see you again very soon.